were you keen to use this? Do you want to reschedule it for another time, or do you want to go I'm, ahead? And I can do whatever you want. I want to know what you want. This is in your mm -hmm. service. What would you like? Well, we would love to hear the, 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 the if building. We, could hear it. we can't see anything more than the building. No. <laughs> The That's building what, is on your face. I, gonna do <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and if you want to, even in this situation where you're looking at my head and seeing part of the building, mm -hmm. I can move around. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> and then go ahead and give you the pitch. Yeah. That's it. good. Let's hear yeah. the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. You, gotta be, you have to be innovative, don't you? We do, and this is really space age stuff. This is. All Thank right. you, Jeannie. Can you introduce him again? So uh, yes, Bob is going to talk, talk today about World Headquarters, a new home for World Headquarters, and I'm really looking forward to hearing and perhaps seeing a little bit of these World Headquarters. Thank you, Bob. Well, behind my head is a picture of the New World Headquarters that was supposed to dazzle you today. <laughs> Some of you have speculated that the move was going to be too expensive and would diminish the amount of support to clubs and districts, but I want to tell you that's not so. And if you will walk with me and we'll figure out why it is that it's going to be okay. 92 years ago, Dr. Spedley gave birth, in effect, to our organization in California. And we've had a good tradition with it, but the world has changed economically and educationally and marketing and for employment. And we no longer feel a need to stay where Dr. Smedley started. We need to move into an area where we have a 25 year view of what Toastmash is gonna be and how it can operate. We're gonna to need to think in terms of a growing, diverse and talented workforce. Obviously with this high tech area, that we enjoy, we know what is coming down the road. The question is, why not stay in California? What's well, really the cost of doing business? We have an exceedingly high rate of cost in California in comparison with other states in the US. And that high cost is having an effect on the dues, the fees, and the products that are produced by Toastmasters. The Board of Directors had a concern many years ago about what was happening and then what they could see was happening with this high cost effort. So they started looking around California and couldn't find a better place. Then for three years, they evaluated additional elements in California and in five other states in, in the U.S. to see if there was no way that we could effectively produce what we need and still keep out there. But the analysis confirmed that there was no good solution to it and moving out of state would give us access to a very desirable workforce at a lower cost than it ever had been envisioned. Well, the location was just selected from the back of my head. <laughs> it is based outside the Denver, Colorado area and is in an area where the cost of the organization is about 18% lower in that area than it is in California, and the opportunities for less are great. Well, this choice better aligns us with our 
long-term goon goals for Toastmasters. Being more cost-effective, it puts the world headquarters in a dynamic position of growing in an area that attracts young and talented workforce. Young and talented, I, I like that. On October the 17th of 2016, the board bought the building that you can see in the background. Now, here are the features of that board, of that building. First, I said the location is out of uh, Denver. It's in Englewood. It actually is at 9127 South Jamaica Street. The important thing is, it's in a business park community. Therefore, when we're dealing with employees and opportunities for high-tech people, we're physically set for help there. The building has 106,575 square feet. You'll notice that there are four floors. The top two floors will be enough to take care of our staff and the bottom two will be leased for a while. But the real pitch is this building will serve us on a projected growth of 25 to 30 years. Can you think about being out 25, 30 years in Toastmasters and stay in one place? Fantastic idea. Well, as I mentioned, the staff will go in on the top two floors. There's 168 people that are involved in this two floor operation, but we also have additional income, as I mentioned, from the rent of the bottom two floors as needed. Now, all these departments will continue to transcend to the new facility throughout the first half of 2018. In the meantime, in 2017, not much impact on you and I. The advanced party will be preparing the, the, for move. They'll be hiring and training replacements for those people who were not moved from California. But I want to assure you that full online communication will continue as is present. Let me repeat that. Full online communications will continue as at present. In 2018, personnel moves will not change our operating systems, the people in their first six months. However, telephone systems may be a little bit difficult because of the switching between California and Denver. So I suggest you do a lot with email. So we need operating guides and we know that World Headquarters will give us guidance when we need it. After the main move, a small office will remain in California for legal and management needs. Our legal position of being chartered in California will not be addressed very soon. Well, the big question is funding. The relocation will be funded from the Toastmasters International Investment Funds, which have been set aside for such purpose. This has nothing to do with the other set asides we had for self-insuring the, the operation and for support for emergencies. This, these are funds we started a number of years ago and we're ready to use them. I can't give you the detail because there's so many questions right now about cost, but you'll see that from the world headquarters as time goes on. So, what I'm asking you to do today is to share with your friends the message that service and support is safe without a dues increase, no dues increase 
I hope you'll enjoy the new life. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Robert. That was great. And it was rather eerie, but very interesting. <laughs> and we all will look forward to hearing further about the I move. think that, that picture on my head is a, a big improvement, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's sort of like very spacey. Uh, how are you doing, Samir? Would you like to be able to ready. give us a... I'm ready. You can give... Fantastic. Because you can give Bruce... You can give Bob a, a thorough a written evaluation, but a spoken one now would be lovely. Thank you very much. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster... <laughs> most welcome guests but most especially Bob I'm here to evaluate Bob's CC3 speech about the new home for world headquarters and I'm going to be using the structure of the speech to do that but before I go into the evaluation of the speech itself I just want to salute you Bob for embracing the new technology and taking on the challenge and carrying on through to deliver your speech. Um, the use of visual aids is a later project for online, but I love the enthusiasm with which you have embraced the new technology. 